Hello everyone and welcome to season 16 of Wine Miners Cry. We're calling this Wine Miners Call because it is a mumble game, which means positional audio. But there's more to it. We have two big teams. We have oranges and limes. I'm an orange this time. Uh, and we are not spawned together, so we're going to try and find our teammates in this giant massive world. But for now, we're just going to deal, getting our regular tools, getting set up as every ultra hardcore match usually starts. And we are on our way to greatness. It's been a long while since the last uh, WC season I played. The last one was uh, season 12. And now I'm back here, um, in WMC. Uh, I am really excited for this game mode, personally. I feel like it's gonna be a lot of fun, just suddenly popping, uh, someone just pops up into view, or you hear them. That would also be really strange. Um, and one of my personal favorite parts, or favorite things about this season, is that TG is playing. Oh my gosh, the last season he played in was uh, the sixth season. And that's quite some time ago. So it's about 10 seasons, holy crap. Uh, wait, is it 16 or 15? I should def definitely know these things before I start saying things. <laughs> I think it's 16, let's go with that. Um, yeah, so we have our stone tools set up. This reminds me of a lot of um, season 11, which was the last uh, FFA season uh, of WNC, if I remember correctly. And uh, yeah, I started in the forest getting just the tools uh, at the beginning. And my plan right now is just get a bunch of apples because for some reason, I'm not, I haven't checked the source code for Minecraft or anything, but. It feels like gold is easier to find, so definitely getting a bunch of apples is going to be really valuable. Especially considering um, thieves can become massive, uh, there's a lot of good people in here, so I definitely want any advantage I can get. And also, you know, I need um, the planks to make note blocks, which is uh, of course our priority for this match. <laughs> In a game mode all about sound, of course we're going to make the sound creating things. <laughs> so without further ado, we are just going to continue chopping down and plant as we go. Because, you know, you have to think about the nature. You have to plant when you chop things down. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm uh, very happy that we got this finally happening. Um, I did a lot of like deciding up for the mumble part of the season, so I hope nothing goes wrong. There's a few bugs here and there with the mod, but hopefully that shouldn't affect the season too much. Uh, and I think we are gonna be just fine. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of uh, mumble seasons as of late, but I feel like the big teams, sort of like what the Minecraft did for a season, is gonna change up, change the pace for the game a bit, so it's gonna be good. And maybe one other favorite part of this uh, game mode is that no matter what happens, half of the players are going to win a season of WMC, so potentially we're gonna see a lot of people who haven't won yet will actually win, so no matter what, either the oranges or the limes are gonna win. It's kind of awesome. It sounds like some sports teams, you know? You have like, um, you have the Limes from Toronto. Toronto do not have any Limes. That, I don't think Canada would call anything after a tropical fruit. That would make sense. Uh, but yeah, it just sounds like a really cool sports team of sorts. Wouldn't be surprised if there's like an uh, esports team named after fruits. That'd be kind of fun. And dance with the classic yeah, WMC timer. Oh, uh, classic any record round timer. <laughs> and of course, we do not l allow any like private messaging or like uh, displaying coordinates just to find your teammates. That seems a bit cheaty, but you know, that's how it goes. 
So let's take a look at our teams here. Um, as far as my team goes, we have Andrizzle, Break Salad, Bitexel, Costanza, Dibs, Qs, Key, Curtit, Learning, Raven, Rolf, Nihon, and myself. Now, you might have seen a few episode zeros of uh, WMC16, and there you can see how the teams were created. And how those were created, I really like the style uh, that Fairy went with. Was basically putting uh, every player in a certain tier or group based on region or just general skill of the game. So that means that teams are mostly balanced, like you have a few. Um, the people with the most kills in WMC are split between the two different teams. So you don't have a team which is just like massively overpowered just looking at the, <laughs> looking at the player list. So that's a very good thing. And uh, I guess you could also say it's kind of matched up on the, how maybe you would match in commentary. Uh, for example, I don't know if it was on purpose, but Bergasms and Fairy Juice are on the same team, so that'll be fun if they got matched up. Uh, IX and Winter did not get matched up though, so that's a kind of shame. But we do have team uh, Lucky19 on uh, Lime, which is uh, Mop and Dance. Yeah. Really fun if they uh, found each other. But who knows. And Fairy desperately wants someone else to be Iron Man, and that is not going to be, be me. <laughs> no chance. That That is not my plan at all. Um, my plan is just try to have fun with the mumble part, because, you know, a lot of people don't have a lot of chances to play mumble games, so... Just try to have fun with that part of the game, hopefully. Uh, try to go around the map for a little while and see if we can uh, talk to someone. I don't mind if it's an enemy or a friend. Just try to mess with the, this new part of the game that I'm not used to at all. Uh, yeah, but uh, as far as our apple hunting goes, it's been going okay, I'd say. Uh, as far as, uh, you know, we spent a lot of time here, the day is probably almost over soon, but that's just how it goes. As far as general strategy goes, um, probably I could just hope that a, a teammate uh, gets enchantments and I could just try to find them instead, but uh, I feel like that's a risk I'm not willing to take, so I'm just gonna enjoy the caving for a while. <laughs> Oh, and uh, here goes the, um, the smack talking, uh, the uh, war cries from oranges and limes, pretty sour fruits in general, but you know, that's fine. <laughs> I guess it, it would be some sort of like uh, brotherly conflict as far as fruit goes, which is kind of funny. Um, <laughs> Oh yeah, I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. I have no idea how this is gonna go. This could become horribly unbalanced, but we just gotta just got believe in the magic that everything is gonna be a-okay. <laughs> I'm also happy that uh, Numbers or IX is playing again. It's been a little while since he uh, was last year. Uh, what was the last time? Was it WMC9? I can't remember if he played any uh, after that one. I don't think he did. So... I wonder how what he, what he will do if he uh, will attempt a trap or two. That would be fun. I don't know what the uh, thoughts on traps uh, in such a, like, a big team's uh, game mode is. Because if you're lucky, you could potentially take down three or four people with one trap. For example, um, yeah, if you just made a bigger version of the sand trap that um, Scottish and I did in DC5, <laughs> that could be potentially devastating, because I'd imagine that teams would be uh, sticking close to each other, just so they don't get confused with who's on what team, and uh, as well as they can hear each other way better if they're close together, so 
I guess that's something that can be abused, but you'd have to get lucky, like the team would step exactly at that point, so it probably wouldn't happen. Um, and as you can see here, we are heading into the swamp, getting a few pigs, just just in case we don't starve in a cave, because that'd be a sad, sad moment indeed. That is not something I'm uh, very interested in doing, so let's get a few boats on ready and let's head out. So, I think this is my first WMC season in 1.8, and 1.8 introduces a few changes. Um, I'd love to get a slime block, but it's... oh! And yeah, here you see a few bugs in the system. That can happen. <laughs> uh, oh well. Yeah, I don't know what we can do about that. It just bugs out now and again. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. 1.8 inter introduces slime blocks, which can be a lot of fun, but you have to spend a lot of time in the swamp or get really lucky with spawns, so that's not something I'm going to try and go for. Um, enchanting is different, it's easier to get good enchants. Um, so there's still some luck involved, but still. Fire aspect and uh, tier 2 yeah. of. Oh! Hello? Hello? Oh boy. Who is that? Oh, is that you, Sid? Oh, hey, bro. Oh, sorry, I'm not on your team. Alright. <laughs> Alright, see ya. I'm now. <laughs> Good luck. I am. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, that's, that's awesome. Okay. I really like that. <laughs> uh. Oh, and just in case. Um, if someone was watching Brick Perspective and that kind of seemed off, that's because I have to re-record the commentary for this because for some reason it got lost. I don't know. I couldn't find it. <laughs> it was I saved it and it's gone. So yeah, I'm re-recording this. So me talking to Brick from the past was a bit weird, but that's what we gotta do sometimes. So let's try and look for a cave here. Um, Oh, yeah. Here's a oh boy. <laughs> oh, cured it. What a guy. Yeah. So, we have tried to remind people a lot of the time to just mute yourself whenever. Um, maybe if you're l getting a l big lag spike, you have to uh, log back into the server or something. <laughs> Yeah, and those sounds can be a bit, um, <laughs> hectic to listen to, <laughs> not used to it, um, but hopefully that won't happen too much, hopefully everything will go well. I'm a bit nervous, um, or was a bit nervous, I, I can't decide if I'm supposed to talk about this in the past tense or present, I'm just gonna talk in present even though it doesn't make sense. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm uh, really nervous about, um, I guess I'm only talking present as I was thinking at this point, and I was, re I am really nervous about, um, uh, the server not working because, uh, I set up the server, so if anything broke, that would be my fault. So, uh, yeah, a lot of the time while playing this, I, um, had other concerns as well. Oh, I wish I remembered, hmm, what I t wanted to talk about, but it's been a while now, like, I, I'm recording this a few days before the release of the episode, since, uh, unforeseen circumstances, I thought it had, but didn't, so, I think I'm just gonna talk about whatever's on my mind right now, instead of trying to remember what I was talking about back then. Um... So, what I am really excited about is, of course, Rocket League! If you've been following my channel over the last month uh, or two, a lot of Rocket League content has been posted because I'm uh, organizing the uh, tourney tournament, which is a casual tournament, which we're, we're gonna continue soon if people enjoy watching that. It just, um, school has been taking a lot of time and just focusing on other projects as well. 
but we should be able to continue that within a week or two of this uh, episode being released, hopefully. And I'd love to um, finish the tournament, because there's some, some really cool matchups uh, going to happen pretty soon. Uh, what I'm most excited about is uh, Learning's team against uh, Timon's team, because they're both really good, and they're also really evenly matched, I'd say. Like, both of them are very evenly matched in skill and uh, teamwork. Uh, so, I wonder how that is going to turn out. That's going to probably be the highlight of the tournament. Like, I want them to be in the finals, if possible, but we can't make any promises on that, sadly. There, our first pickaxe broke. We're gonna do a lot of mining. <laughs> but that's okay, because mining is my favorite part of Minecraft, especially Ultra Hardcore. There's just something very uh, calming, fascinating, fun about caving in Minecraft. Just Exploring, finding new things, taking care of uh, monsters in your way, lighting things up, just providing light to the scenery around you, finding strange new things, believing in the RNG god, you know, there's a lot of fun in that. Which is also why I uh, like dungeoneering so much, because it adds a different element to caving. It makes it a lot harder, and I love a challenge in the UHC, especially after playing for this uh, for over two years. Having a bit more challenge in caving is a lot more fun, because uh, PvP and combat is not one of my strong suits, so I'm not really interested in trying to improve there, so I know I'm, I'm pretty weak overall when it comes to fighting, but just the revival uh, I feel it's my strong suit, so I love taking challenges there. That's a lot of fun. Yeah, but it comes to Rocket League, uh, I totally sidetracked there. Um, what I'm really excited about is the new DLC. The Revenge of the Battle Cars. So for those that don't know, maybe you haven't even played Rocket League. Rocket League, in very simple terms, um, is soccer with with uh, radio controlled cars, uh, which have rocket boosts so they can fly up in the air and do back backflips. It's a really fun game. But it started out as an indie uh, PlayStation 3 exclusive called Supersonic Acrobatic Rocket Powered Battle Cars. And I played that thing so much. Oh my gosh, it was one of my favorite. I played with friends a lot. Just an amazing soundtrack and the map designs were so awesome. And I loved everything about it. It was a four player split screen game on a PlayStation 3, which it didn't have a lot of back then. And it also was a sports game with tons of explosions. And what can you not love about that? It's like, it reminded me a lot of the, um, NBA Street, FIFA Street games, like it's just a lot more silly version of the sports games you enjoy. And maybe like, I know a lot of people enjoy simply the street, uh, or the more arcadey, just fun version of sports games, and I agree with that, it's just not taking rules, so taking the rules out of the equation and being less serious about it, just makes games more fun. Uh, which makes them less of a simulation, simulation of course, but still, it's just uh, so much fun. I love it a lot. Um, so that's why I enjoyed the original Supersonic Acrobatic Rocket Powered Battle Cars. And what the DLC does is it's adding a lot of references and uh, some of the old cars from back then. I don't know. I know a lot of people had a uh, Sippy as their favorite, which was like a kind of a rally car, I guess. And I just like, the, I feel like that's the perfect um, Rocket League car, just in terms of design and look and uh, how it feels, uh, how it feels to drive it. So, really happy about that. And it's also really good. Um, one of the best parts about the original 
game was that it had an amazing theme song, which was created by um, a video game podcast called Rant Theory. So it was like a, a fan product, but he added it to the game and just oh, such a rocking song. It's amazing. Oh, end of episode one. I will see you again in the next episode in two days for the continuation. See you then.